The public's reaction to Joe Biden's vacations may hinge on their political leanings and what they expect from presidential leadership. Greg Gutfeld's comments seem to amplify existing doubts about Biden's effectiveness, fueling concerns about the nation's trajectory under his administration. The notion that others are running the show while Biden is perceived as doing nothing heightens fears of a lack of transparency and accountability, potentially eroding public trust in the government and diminishing the sense of agency that drives political engagement. Yeah, I see what Joe's, what is this his like 10th day, right? At, at least. least. Yeah. Here's what, here's what worries me. Is he healthy enough to handle so much vacation? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's taking on a lot of time off. He needs a vacation from all the vacation. Take some time off from the time off. I'm just wondering, though, is there really any difference from uh, doing nothing on the beach versus doing nothing in the Oval Office? It's a fair question. I think, though, I'm wrong because he did worse than nothing. He pretended he was doing nothing. He did worse. He let others do something under the guise of a congenial layabout. So he was the useless front man for a radical takeover. I wish he was doing nothing. Now we just see it. He's doing nothing all the time. He's been doing nothing for four years and letting everybody else run the show. It's really a disgrace. I can't sit there on the beach for that many days in a row. It's true. It's true. And Trump made the best point. What kind of leader sleeps in public? No, you can't. (laughs) Criticism of Biden's frequent vacations is often tied to worries about leadership and responsibility. The public places high value on a president who is visibly engaged and decisive, particularly in handling both domestic and international affairs. Gutfeld's remark that there's no difference between doing nothing on the beach and doing nothing in the Oval Office paints Biden's presidency as one of inactivity or inefficiency. The underlying message is that leaders should be visibly involved and responsive to their duties, especially during times of crisis, rather than appearing indifferent or disengaged.